Ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell if I'm reporting on the NBA or on a new episode of Gossip Girl. It's only our second day back and we already have men who are getting paid millions of dollars throwing shots at other grown men. But if I'm keeping it real, I'm all for the drama because it makes the game that much more exciting and you guys tend to click on my videos more often when I talk about drama. So what's going on with the Celtics and Bucks and why are Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart throwing shots at Giannis and the ref? At this point in the game, Giannis already had five fouls and it was a two-point game with two minutes left in the fourth. As you can see, Giannis clearly fouls the screener and of course the refs didn't give Giannis a personal foul for this play. That in itself is enough for Celtics fans and Celtics players to rightfully be upset but then it gets even worse. Just one minute later, look at this obvious charge by Giannis on Marcus Smart. The refs originally called this a charge on Giannis but then they changed the call to a blocking foul on Marcus Smart. Look at the disbelief on Marcus Smart's face. I'm a Lakers fan so I hate the Celtics by nature and I currently hate the Bucks because they're in the way of my Lakers winning another championship so I really don't care much for picking sides but it seems very biased for both of these calls to have been in Giannis's favor especially within a minute of each other in such a close game. So now that you know why Marcus Smart and Jalen Brown are throwing shots at Giannis let me tell you guys how Marcus Smart and Jalen Brown are throwing shots at Giannis. All I ask is that you guys hit the like button because it's past midnight and I'm going hard to get this video up by the morning. Here's the picture Jalen Brown posted on his Instagram story that mocks Giannis. The picture shows Giannis holding hands with the ref. Then a Twitter account posted this picture on Twitter and Jalen Brown quote tweeted it saying, it's just Photoshop, don't find me. And thank goodness Jalen clarified saying it was Photoshop because I couldn't tell. And now let's see what Marcus Smart did. I'm about to play the interview, but to give you guys some context, the interviewer asked Marcus what the ref's reasoning was for overturning the call from a charge on Giannis to a block on Marcus. And Marcus didn't refer to it as a reason, but as an excuse from the ref. The excuse was I was late um, on the charge. And then Marcus basically said that the refs are playing favorites because they don't want Giannis to foul out. They said uh, the replay center said I was late and it was a block. But quite frankly, I think we all know what that was about. Giannis is six foul, didn't want to get him out. Just we'll call that spade a spade, and that's just what it is. And even though I agree with Marcus on this, I think this is karma for Marcus pretending he got hit below the belt right here because he knew the ref was watching. But wait, it actually gets even better than that. And look, I get it. Marcus Smart and Jalen Brown are justified in being upset at Giannis and the refs. But if I were them, I'd be more upset at my teammate Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum shot two for 18 from the field today. Yes, two for 18 and only put up five points on 11% shooting from the field. That is so bad that I can't tell y'all how I truly feel about it without getting trouble for excessive profanity. Jason Tatum is a great player, he just had a bad night. But the Celtics only lost by seven and Jason Tatum is averaging 24 points per game this season. If he just put up half of that, the Celtics would have won the game regardless of what Giannis did and regardless of what the refs called. But that's just my two cents. And while these two teams are arguing, I'm eating popcorn celebrating that my Lakers won yesterday. Erk, erk, erk. Hit that like button if you watched this video all the way through. Comment your thoughts down below. What do you think of this whole situation? Subscribe if you're new and I'll see y'all tomorrow with the hottest NBA news. I'm out of here y'all. Peace. If you're still here, consider watching this other video I picked out for you down below. Please just watch it. I'm trying to get to 300 subs, so go watch that video. Let me know what y'all think. And hit the like button on that video too. All right, see you guys.